Hey folks, welcome back. Let's talk about something truly amazing. The incredible achievement of Afghan engineers in reconstructing and bringing to life the Salang Tunnel, hailed as the world's most dangerous tunnel. I mean, seriously, hats off to these engineers and other team members for showing off their mad skills and resilience. Look at the awesome picture of the Salang Tunnel nestled in the daunting Hindu Kush mountains, posing challenges left and right. But guess what? These engineers didn't give up. Nope. They rolled up their sleeves, faced the hurdles head on, and surprised us with their determination and technical skills. On Wednesday, December 20th, 2023, the Salang Highway has officially reopened to traffic following extensive repairs. The Taliban government marked this occasion with a press conference where high-ranking officials, including Mullah Abdul Ghani Baradar, the deputy economic chief, participated. The press conference, broadcast by the Afghan national radio and television, emphasized the significance of the Salang Highway, not only linking northern regions to the center of Afghanistan, but also serving as a vital connection between Central and South Asia. The comprehensive reconstruction project, initiated approximately four months ago, focused on key components such as the Salang Tunnel, connecting Kabul to nine northern provinces. Acknowledged as one of Afghanistan's crucial transit routes, the Salang Highway plays a pivotal role in facilitating regional connectivity and economic activities. The reopening underscores the Taliban government's commitment to infrastructure development and regional integration through strategic transportation networks. The concrete work inside the tunnel and its 16 galleries is complete, but technically, it'll take a few more days to prepare it for heavy vehicles. Good news, though, the Salang Highway is open for passengers and small vehicles on Wednesday. The reconstruction of the Salang Tunnel began four months ago, adhering to high standards. Passengers and drivers eagerly awaited this moment, especially with the tough winter conditions on the Karvak and Shiber Bamiyan routes. Today, the highway is open for everyone, offering a 2.7 kilometers wide passage through the dangerous Salang Pass. Dealing with tricky geology and wild weather, the Afghan engineers proved they're the real heroes. They not only gave the Salang Tunnel a glow up, but also highlighted how local know-how is crucial in tackling challenges unique to their own nation. And it's not just about safety and function, it's a source of national pride. Afghan professionals showing the world that they can rock and roll on the global stage. The revamped Salang Tunnel isn't just a technical win, it's a dedication to boosting Afghanistan's infrastructure game. Massive kudos and congratulations to these engineers and the Afghan government for making this happen. The Salang Tunnel stands as a testament to Afghanistan's complex history and plays a pivotal role in the nation's economic landscape. Nestled within the formidable Hindu Kush Mountains at an elevation of 3,400 meters above sea level, this engineering marvel has witnessed the ebbs and flows of conflict, economic transformation, and enduring resilience. The Soviet Union completed the construction of this tunnel in 1964, making it the highest road tunnel in the world at that time. Originally designed to accommodate 2,000 vehicles per day, it now serves between 7,000 and 10,000 vehicles per day, especially during adverse conditions like winter. Trucks often face challenges navigating the 15-kilometer switchbacks at both ends of the tunnel. Currently, Reconstruction and basic repair work is underway on 80 kilometers of the Salang Highway, including inside the tunnel. The construction work inside the tunnel is expected to be completed in a few days. Two of the national construction companies will complete the reconstruction project of the Salang Highway in 80 kilometers over the course of two years. These companies will be responsible for reconstructing the Salang Highway 
from Jabalusaraj Parwan district to Kajnan Baglan district. The total cost of the project has not yet been clarified. This highway serves as a crucial corridor, connecting Kabul to key points in the north of the country and Central Asia, enabling industrial development and economic growth in Afghanistan. The Salang Pass, a busy and strategically important highway, connects the north and south of Afghanistan. The Salang Highway connects nine northern provinces and four major commercial ports to Kabul. Construction of the Salang Tunnel began in 1958 and was completed in 1964, reducing the distance between the north and south of Afghanistan by 110 kilometers. Like many other Afghan infrastructures, the Salang Tunnel suffered severe damage during the civil wars. After the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001, the Salang Highway was repaired with financial assistance from the World Bank. Several years ago, strategic plans were initiated to establish four new tunnels along the Salang Highway, situated in distinct locations, including Pule Kaki to Doshi and Waolang to Du Shark. These new tunnels aim to optimize travel by offering a more efficient route through the central expanse of the challenging Hindu Kush Mountains. The comprehensive investment for the construction of these four tunnels totals $1.6 billion US dollar, reflecting a commitment to enhancing transportation infrastructure and connectivity in the region. The Salang Pass, a challenging and strategic highway, serves as a gateway connecting the northern and southern parts of Afghanistan. The corridor's safety and reliability are essential for industrial development and economic growth, contributing to improved living conditions for communities along its route. Despite its daunting reputation as one of the most dangerous and high mountain highways globally, the Salang Pass remains an indispensable route for commerce and trade. However, the Salang Tunnel also poses significant challenges. Its aging infrastructure, lack of maintenance, and susceptibility to accidents, fires, and acts of conflict underscore the need for ongoing attention and investment. The tunnel, falling short of modern safety standards, faces issues such as dangerous avalanches, steep highway grades, poor ventilation, inadequate lighting, and compromised road surfaces. Recent reconstruction efforts initiated by the private sector aim to address these challenges. The extensive repair work, covering 80 kilometers of the Salang Highway, which began a few months ago, includes rehabilitation inside the tunnel. The reconstruction project is a testament to the commitment to enhancing the capacity, safety, and reliability of the Salang Corridor. To fully realize the economic potential of the Salang Tunnel, it is imperative to continue investing in its renovation and upgrading, modernizing the ventilation and lighting systems, introducing emergency stations equipped with safety gear, and implementing advanced technologies for monitoring traffic are essential measures. These initiatives not only enhance safety for drivers and passengers, but also contribute to the overall economic and security development of Afghanistan. The Salang Tunnel encapsulates the dynamic interplay of history, conflict, and economic growth in Afghanistan. Its significance as a strategic and economic artery cannot be overstated as it connects diverse regions of the country and facilitates trade and commerce. As the nation continues to rebuild and advance, the Salang Tunnel stands as a symbol of resilience, embodying the potential for economic prosperity in this historically rich and complex region. As we wrap up this journey, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your time and engagement. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next video.